Here's what a Super Bowl would mean for each NFL playoff team heading into this postseason. Let's start with the AFC. If the first seed Ravens win the Super Bowl, it would be their third Super Bowl in franchise history. This team has qualified for the NFL playoffs 15 times since the year 2000, and within this time frame, they have four AFC Championship appearances and seven AFC North Division titles. Talk about being properly managed. So if they win a Super Bowl, it would be business as usual. However, this would be new territory for Lamar Jackson specifically. Getting his first Super Bowl ring would seriously put him in the conversation as top 15 quarterback of all time. Top 10 might be too loaded, at least for now, and he can get there one day, but with a Super Bowl ring, an AP MVP, and all his other amazing accolades, I think putting him in the top 15 isn't too crazy at all. But of course, he needs to win this postseason. If the second seed Bills win the Super Bowl, it would do a lot of emotional recovery to any Bills fans who witnessed them going to four straight Super Bowl appearances from 1991 through 1994 and then watched them lose them all four in a row. That's gotta hurt. Both the Bills and Vikings have four Super Bowl appearances and zero Super Bowl rings, but the Bills went through that pain in a row, and if they don't win a Super Bowl ring this year, apparently this guy on Reddit plans to eat an entire watermelon, rind and all. If the third seed Chiefs win the Super Bowl, it'd be just another Sunday. Okay, maybe that's a little hyperbolic, but after being both the 2020 and 2023 Super Bowl champion, the Chiefs going all the way has become normalized thanks to the greatness of Patrick Mahomes. Speaking of which, a third third Super Bowl ring would put Mr. Mahomes past both Manning brothers and just one ring behind Joe Montana. All this just at the age of 28 with plenty of time to start inching closer and closer towards Tom Brady. Plus, winning back-to-back -back Super Bowls is very Brady-esque considering he was the last quarterback to do it. The Mahomes GOAT conversation might be a little premature right now, but it's not entirely outlandish to start considering it at least from a talent perspective since this is the prime talent-wise of Patrick Mahomes. If the fourth seed Texans win the Super Bowl, it would mark the first time a rookie quarterback has won or even started a Super Bowl. CJ Stroud would have one of, if not the greatest rookie quarterback runs possibly in NFL history if he manages to not only win a Super Bowl ring, but also a Super Bowl MVP. As for the Texans as a team, this would be their first Super Bowl appearance ever and first ring ever if they win. The Houston Texans are the youngest franchise in the NFL, becoming the league's 32nd franchise starting during the 2002 season. If the Browns win the Super Bowl, either the golden age of humanity will begin or the apocalypse will start. Either way, the timeline has been altered if we see such a franchise do the impossible and win it all. What kind of divine intervention or universal symbolism would it be if the Browns win a Super Bowl immediately after removing Deshaun Watson from rotation? This would be their first Super Bowl in franchise history. Joe Flacco would be an all-time Browns hero which sounds like something I never thought I would say. He would have two Super Bowl rings, possibly two Super Bowl MVPs, and would be a dark horse for top 20 quarterback of all time. Maybe even a top 10 postseason specific quarterback of all time, I know his regular season resume is a mixed bag, but his postseason runs are amazing, and if we add a Super Bowl run this season, it would be beyond amazing. If the sixth seed Dolphins win the Super Bowl, it would be roughly 50 years since the Miami Dolphins won a Super Bowl back in 1974 when they beat the Redskins 14-7. That was Miami's 17-0 perfect season. This Super Bowl win wouldn't be a perfect season, but sometimes imperfection is more memorable than perfection. As of this recording, Tua leads the league in passing yards for this season, and no personal passing yards leader has ever won a Super Bowl in the same season, so this would be a historical achievement if he becomes the first pro to accomplish both the passing yard leader and a Super Bowl champion within the same season. If the seventh seed Steelers win the Super Bowl, it would be the first Super Bowl win since 2009, and they would have seven Super Bowl titles all time. Currently, the Steelers and Patriots are tied for the most Super Bowl wins with six apiece, so a win here would break that tie, and the Steelers would singly own that first place spot. Now here's a big question, would Kenny Pickett or Mason Rudolph be the starting quarterback if such a Super Bowl were to take place? That's a tough question that I don't even think the Steelers know as of right now. Both quarterbacks have had up and downs career-wise, and both are looking for a bounce back. Whoever does start 
could really use a Super Bowl ring on their resume though, that's not a question. Moving on to the NFC, we have the first seeded 49ers. If they win the Super Bowl this season, it would be their sixth Super Bowl champion, which would make a three-way tie among the Steelers and Patriots and now the 49ers if they pull it off. And their last Super Bowl was back in 1995, so this would be roughly 27 years in the making. Brock Purdy is just in his second year and is already proving to be one of the NFL's rising superstars. As of this recording, he has an impressive quarterback rating of 113. If he can stay healthy, he has a long and great career ahead of him. Adding a ring in year two would be a great way to set a tempo to become an all-time great quarterback. If the second seed Cowboys win the Super Bowl, much like the 49ers, they would go from five to six and set a three-way tie between them, the Steelers, and Patriots, all with six Super Bowl wins apiece. Of course, they gotta win it though. Cowboys last won the Super Bowl back in 1996, which is one year after said 49ers. Dak Prescott, with the ring, can finally put to bed the overrated title that so many pundits have given him. He will finally cement himself as a great quarterback who can make the Cowboys America's team again. If the third seed Lions, yes, the Lions are the third seed, I know, crazy right, but if the third seed Lions win the Super Bowl, much like the Browns, either the golden age of humanity will begin or the apocalypse would start. Better yet, imagine a Browns versus Lions Super Bowl. Now that would be absolute cinema or the end of the universe. The last time the Lions won a playoff game was all the way back on January 5th, 1992. Not only has this franchise never won a Super Bowl, they've never even been to a Super Bowl, so this would mean quite a lot to the entire state of Michigan. If the fourth seeded Buccaneers win the Super Bowl, this would be their third Super Bowl ring. The Buccaneers won Super Bowl titles in 2003 and in 2021. They would rebound faster than the Patriots did after losing Brady, which is kind of impressive to do so in just roughly two to three years, compared to the Patriots, who are still kind of in no man's land after they lost him. Baker Mayfield personally winning a ring would be a nice step to the Browns franchise for just parting ways so absurdly. And that one commercial where Brady handed all the rings to Baker Mayfield would finally have some universal irony to it. If the fifth seeded Eagles win the Super Bowl, this would be their second Super Bowl all time and the league would very much be underappreciating this man's talent and a conversation around him for sure. If the sixth seeded Rams win the Super Bowl, it would be their third Super Bowl ring in franchise history after their victories in 2000 and in 2022. What a roller coaster would be from the highs of that 2021 season, then going 5-12 and 12 just one season later, and now right back up at it with a solid 10-7 and 7 record. That is truly an up and down journey. If this team goes all the way to grab a ring, Matthew Stafford would probably deserve another AP Comeback Player of the Year award for being such an insane roller coaster ride and still mastering it all. If the seventh seeded Packers win the Super Bowl, this would be their fifth Super Bowl win. The last time they won it was in 2011 back with Aaron Rodgers. And if the Packers were able to win in the post roger era, then this franchise can finally move on from his shadow. Jordan Love winning a ring in just his third season and his first starting season would be a major accomplishment. He's done pretty well so far for what he's had to work with, considering he did achieve over 4,150 passing yards this season. A Super Bowl win would definitely put his name on the map, and while I wouldn't put him on any all-time list just yet, he would certainly start to pave the way for the media to start putting some respect onto his name. So here is what a Super Bowl win would mean for each NFL playoff team. Let me know who you're rooting for this NFL postseason and who you think is going to go all the way and win a Super Bowl title. Who needs it the most and who needs it the least? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to tackle that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Touchdown Rewind and I'll fast forward to you later.